Okay. See if we can catch him. Yeah. Cool. Mr. Baker, uh, it was you know a real treat to see you and escape from New York. But a lot of science fiction fans have always wondered how you got that part, how you ended up in that film. Were well, you just it was a terrible thing? I had to interrupt you here, but I was so mad. I got a call from John Carpenter, the promoter and producer of that movie. He said, Ox, I need you in Escape from New York. Could you come to St. Louis tomorrow morning? I said, uh, why? He said, well, you have got the part from Escape from New York. I said, no, I just talked to Bruiser Brody the other night in Chicago, and he said he got the part. He said, well, a fan got angry at him the night before and stabbed Bruiser Brody to death. I said, oh, no. I felt so. I said, he got, he got stabbed last night, and you haven't. Enough, and it's, this is show business, Ox. The show must go on. You was a number one choice, number two choice, but he's dead, so you've got to be number one. Wow. I felt so bad, and I want to tell you one thing for 10 years, I refused every offer to go see that music, music, movie out of respect for Bruiser Brody. Yes, sir. He was sir. a great, great human being, a very good friend of mine. I did not realize at the time that what a great movie that Escape from New York would be. If I had asked for $10 residual every time that movie was played, I'd be a multi-millionaire today. Yes, sir. But it is a cult movie, classic. I took $2,000, which was big money at that time, not thinking about the future. But what a hit it was, and every day, or every year, they show it 10, 20, 30 times, it's actually been voted the greatest cult movie of all time, and I was proud to be up of it. I didn't know at the time, I let them kill me off in that movie. They tried another movie years later, and it was a complete failure, because without Ox Baker's presence there, they didn't quite get it done. And Absolutely. all I can say is, I wish I knew what residuals were in them days, but that's how life is. You get the good and you get in the bad. Mm -hmm. And all I can tell you, if you haven't seen that movie yet, I know most of the millions of people have seen it, they'll realize because Ox Baker was in that movie, it made it a fantastic movie. And even 32 years later, it's still a great, great movie. Yes, sir. Do you have any memories from the set? Isaac Hayes or uh, well, working with Kurt Russell? I'm not a music lover. I had a granddad that was uh, cooked and boiled in Africa and ate by the cannibals. So I always have hated music. But uh, the people say what a great, great movie it was. I'm so happy that I was in it. And that they had come out. They, they kept me alive in it. I know the second movie we went, but just as great. But I did 10 movies since. Yes, sir. I read, I read with J Jackie Chan. I did a, a couple of movies with Stan's, uh, with Scott Casey. I had a great, great time. But I've always been and always will be a great roster. And as the people know, the greatest talker in the history of wrestling has been voted Ox Baker. And I accept that honor just like I didn't have Escape from New York coming, but they gave it to me, and I did a fantastic job. Uh, of all your film experiences, is Escape from New York your most favorite one, or did you enjoy another part you played better? Well, it's, the idea, the reason I enjoyed it the most, it was the very, very first one. It's like uh, the first time you went with a, a lady, you know? Yes. You never forget that, you know? Even yes, sir. Even if ugly, had buck teeth or whatever, you still remember years later, you know? And uh, But I would enjoy it. All the experience. I found what a great crew the music people are, and they were always been very, very gentlemanlike to me. And I appreciated them very, very much. Did you feel how imposing and how over the top you were in Escape from New York well, is what was, got you the rest of your just film just roles? Like I said in Rasin for 40 years. Ox Baker was never and never has claimed to be the greatest wrestler of all time. He has claimed to be the greatest talker of all time. In the movies, it's a different way of life. I wish at times that I got into it more, but there was always wrestling, and there always will be. And like my song, The Old Wrestling Blue, which is in a movie coming out this week, called Card Subject to Change, I think. A lot of people ask me about wrestling today. I said with the gimmicks, the broken tables of swearing, there was never Lox Baker's way. I've got the old time. I got the old time. I got the old time. Rosslyn Blue. <laughs>
<laughs> What's in that smoothie? Card subject to change. I was just going to say, plug it one more time. Card subject to change. Card subject to change, and at the end of it, it tells Ox Baker sang, wrote, the old wrestling blue. And what I'm doing right now, I'm making up 100 to 500 cups with old wrestling blues on one side and Ox Baker's picture on the other. And when we have a tribute in October, which we're going to have in New Jersey, I'm going to bring me 100 cups and, set there and sell to my many, many fans. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Baker. Thank you very, very much. And tell your wife I'll be over to see her later. Yes, sir. <laughs>